Okay, so body power. I have a sort of love it, hate it relationship with body power. Um, but to be fair, this year, actually wasn't that bad. I was working on a Meditech chance stand this year and it was nice to be with a company that were passionate about what they did, very driven about what they did and very interested in people. So it's a small stand, but it was busy. We had a pretty constant flow. Now the whole weekend seemed a little bit on the quiet side and there was notably a lot of IFPB pros missing. In fact, there were notably a lot of big names missing. Um, what this did do, however, was stop the ridiculous queues cru- in the middle of the uh, halls. And as a result, there was a nice constant flow. You could get round, you could see things, you could talk to people. Uh, they had the bodybuilding arena at one end, they had a seminar arena at the other end and the strong band around the corner, and that also seemed to keep people in certain areas, which on the general floor meant there was a constant nice flow. It was busy, but it wasn't ridiculous. Uh, so you weren't stood in a soup of people trying to move anywhere. You could get around, you could move, you know, you could get to the toilets in a couple of minutes instead of the usual 10, 15 uh, met some old friends, met some new friends. A um, little bit strange. Um, previous years, mm, people's interest in me has generally been because of the way I looked. This year, people's interest was in what I had to say, which was a different, uh, a bit odd. Um, I don't know, not a negative or a positive, really. It was just different. Uh, I want to say hello and thank you to all those that did take the time to come up and see me and for all the well wishes and praise for the channel. Um, In fact, it was quite overwhelming how much people actually enjoy this channel. Um, So that was really nice. Thank you for that. You know, I put this shit out there and chunter on like I do about various bits of bollocks and... I know you get comments and everything else, but it's a lot different to someone coming up to you and saying, you know what, I really, really like your channel. I really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so, so much. Makes it all worthwhile. It really does. Um, so that was really nice. So thank you for those that came and said hello. In general, it was all right. You know, it was, it was, I didn't get to see the bodybuilding, even though I was literally next to the stage. Um, but it seemed all right. I know they had something in the region of about a thousand competitors across the bodybuilding stage over the three days. Uh, that seemed to be a, a great success, and it definitely seemed to be a lot better having all the different federations, so PCA, BMBF, and there was another federation on the Friday as well, plus obviously the, the um, Pro-Am series on the, the Sunday from PCA. So no, it, 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 was, it was quite good in that sense. Um, like I say, it didn't seem to be a lot of big names, but the usual sort of cor- corporates were there. Um, couple of decent stands. I managed to find VPX uh, Bang, which is my favourite pre-workout. Didn't think they even made it anymore, to be honest, so I bought bags of that stuff. Loads of it. And in general, like I say, had a pretty decent weekend. Tiring. I uh, forgot how tiring it was to work a stand for two days. Um, got interviewed by a few people as well, which was a bit strange. A couple of um, new channels starting up, which I thought was a bit weird. I found it a bit surreal, but you know, happy to do so. One thing though, in previous years I have mentioned the scourge that was the gym sharks. These large groups of young men that wore meggings, had very expensive hairdos, string of vests, didn't train legs, and didn't eat very much, but were very lean. They seem to have dissipated. They're definitely not roaming in packs like they used to, but they have been replaced by a new phenomenon. And this is the wannabe strongman. Uniform, explosive ape t-shirt, beard of some description, baggy shorts, and some form of hiking or walking footwear. These gentlemen 
very similar to the gym shark people don't appear to have spent a great deal of time within the gym they do however seem to have spent a great deal of time at greg's and for those our international friends who don't know what greg's is greg's is a cheap and nasty pie and pastry shop chain in the uk so we seem to have this now now these don't roam in packs like the gym shark ones these tend to be doubles triples at the most uh but they are a bit of a strange phenomenon <laughs> i'm just taking a piss but seriously um i brought this up on facebook yesterday and i was quite shocked actually how many competing strong men actually agreed with me apparently there is a big big issue with um these pretenders so to speak these wannabe guys that that are for want of a better word just fat a bit like me i suppose really um and wear the uniform so to speak but don't really actually do anything within the sport i just found it amusing how these niche groups seem to develop and, and then dissipate over a few years depending on what's the in thing at that time um i also found it quite amusing in the hotel on a sunday morning watching all the fitness bimbos all the bins uh, coming down for breakfast after being out on a lash all fucking night long, cooked out the reds and dropping caffeine pills and cups of coffee, but not actually eating fucking anything. And this is supposed to be a healthy industry. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck me. I'd rather take a drug deed, uh, a steroid abuser any day than one of them nutters. But all in all, I didn't mind it. You know what I mean? Didn't mind it. It was a bit more relaxed. Um, it seemed a little bit more chilled out. Maybe that was more me. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I've got to meet quite a lot of people, got to chat quite a lot of people. Um, and it was, it was, it was, apart from tiring, it was, it was actually quite enjoyable. It wasn't bad at all. Um, just a bit overwhelmed at the number of people that wanted to speak to me, um, or that appreciated this channel. I wasn't, I was quite surprised how it wasn't even just the fact that they were, you know, appreciate the channel. They were very appreciative of the channel, which I found rather strange, but it was nice. It was really nice. So thank you guys. Um, you know, sitting here and, and doing what I do sometimes, you, you wonder if anybody's really listening. Um, so it was really, really nice to get that feedback. I appreciate it. But yeah, that's it. You know, no real rant about body power apart from our new strongman clones in general. Pretty good. Um, can't really say anything else because I didn't really get off the stand that much to be honest um, yeah that was about, oh yes <laughs> actually I will upload the video as well um, there is a friend of mine called Ben Smith who runs a company called Big Ben Products specializes in strongman products and he produces the most obnoxious smelling salt on the planet I believe they're called Revive the Dead. Anyway, we had a bet. And the bet was that I couldn't take a full snort of these things and not react adversely. I failed. I cried like a five-year-old and I spent the next 15 minutes sneezing. It felt like someone had taken fire to one of my lungs. God, that stuff is fucking evil. Anyway... I will upload a video. Um, there is a very short video which I stuck on my Facebook feed, but I will upload it to YouTube today as well so you guys can laugh at my expense. Other than that, that's it. Not really much to report, to be honest. Pretty sane and normal weekend. So I'm going to go because I've got quite a bit to do and uh, I'll get some more stuff up to you later on today.